the entrance antiphon. The Lord said as he entered the world, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Today we celebrate the solemnity of the Annunciation of the Lord. Uh, this solemnity is an exclusion from the time of Lent. It's the day when we use the color white. We use the color which reminds us about joy and happiness, that our Blessed Mother responded to the call uh, to be the Mother of God, to uh, say yes to the will of God in her life. She was the first man and only man so far who in total communion with God has never sinned. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and ask God for his forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done, what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King. O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who will that your word should take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and men may merit to become partakers even in his divine nature who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. 
let it be deep as the netherworld or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask. I will not tempt the Lord. The Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David. Is it not enough for you to weary people? Must you also weary my God? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wished not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Holocausts or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, Behold, I come. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me, to do your will, O my God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I announce your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips, as you, O Lord, know. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Your justice I kept not hid within my heart. Your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. I have made no secret of your kindness and your truth in the vast assembly. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats take away sins. For this reason, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocausts and sin offerings you took no delight. Then I said, As is written to, of me in the scroll, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. First, he says, sacrifices and offerings, holocausts and sin offerings you neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will, we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Word of God became flesh and made His dwelling among us, and we saw His glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. 
Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. And he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Something that permeates through uh, today's liturgy is the doing of the will of God. We heard that in the entrance antiphon. We heard that in the first reading. We heard that in the second reading. But most importantly, we heard that in practice in the gospel. When we heard about the moment when angel Gabriel comes to Mary and announces to her that she will become the mother of the Son of the Most High, she says, yes, may it be done according to thy word. May it be done to me according to your will. May your will be done. In the history of humanity, there are two human beings that have expressed that. One is Mary that we have heard in today's gospel. The second is Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane when he says to his father, but not mine, but your will be done. And we know that only these two have been protected from sin. Not from temptation, but from sin. But they were protected from sin because in all things, in all circumstances, in all situations, they were doing the will of God. This is a lesson for us. This is the lesson how to overcome temptation, how to deal with our sinfulness, how to grow in holiness. It is by doing the will of God. And this is so difficult for us because we human beings, after the stain of the original sin, we are so self-centered. We think about ourselves. We think about our own needs. We think about our own desires. But if it's about my own desires, my own will, where is the place for the will of God in all this? I was thinking that before this Lent, I had really huge difficulties coming up with, with a meaningful penance, with a meaningful um, resolution. And I have come up with something that I do every year, nothing significant, but God has come up with something different. My will, my resolution, is nothing in comparison to the God's resolution. The resolution where there are so many things that we are deprived of. There are so many things that we are celebrating. So many things that we are missing. So Jesus and Mary are those who do the will of God in all circumstances. And there's no accident, there's no coincidence in the fact that we hear about them in this difficult time. Because especially in this difficult time, especially in this time that, like Mary, we may not understand what it means, we need to turn to God and do His will. And doing His will will make us, will get us through it. And doing His will will allow us to overcome the temptation of resignation, the temptation of uh, discouragement, the temptation of despair. Those might be growing in our hearts, but God, through Mary, gives us the antidote. The antidote is doing the will of God. 
Amen. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who if the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Brothers and sisters, gathered as one to celebrate good things we have received from our God. Let us ask him to prompt in us prayers that are worthy of his hearing. For Pope Francis, for Samuel, our bishop, for Jorge, and all the clergy, and with all the people entrusted to their charge, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who hold public office and those who assist them in promoting the common good, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who may be traveling by land, sea, or air, but also for captives and all held in prison, for those who are held in prison of their rooms in quarantines, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For intention of this Mass, this Mass is offered for Teresa Rogakis, and for all intentions that we bring to this Mass and keep in our hearts. For all those intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of us, by f for our faith and for our devotion, and by love and reverence for God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May the petitions of your church be pleasing in your sight, O Lord, so that we may receive from your mercy what we cannot ask out of confidence in our own merits. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Let him mystery of his one and wine. May we come to share in living Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the divine work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, we be accepted by you, Lord, and may our sacrifice in sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept your church's offerings so that she who is aware that her beginnings lie in the incarnation of your only begotten Son may rejoice to celebrate his mysteries on this solemnity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the Virgin Mary heard with faith that the Christ was to be born among men and for men's sake by the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit. Lovingly she bore him in her immaculate womb, that the promises to the children of Israel might be a, might come about, and the hope of the nations be accomplished beyond all telling. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exalt and praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Samuel, our Bishop, Jorge, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, 
You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. And in a moment when I'm receiving the Eucharist and all your intentions, I encourage you to make the act of spiritual communion, uniting with me celebrating this Mass by the power of the universal priesthood that we have all received through the sacrament of baptism. Communion Antiphon. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and his name will be called Emmanuel. and the purity of our heart that has been given to us in time to be our healing for eternal joy. Let us pray. Confirm in our minds the mysteries of the true faith, we pray, O Lord, so that confessing that he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is true God and true man, we may, through the saving power of his resurrection, merit to attain eternal joy, through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. And our announcement section. Um, today is the uh, solemnity of the, Nan- the Annunciation of uh, the Lord. And this is traditionally the day when we begin our spiritual adoption. You can find more information in uh, the flock note that was sent yesterday or just go to our website, uh, stpetergreedy.org slash adoption. You have more information and you have uh, also uh, the ability to sign up for the adoption. And uh, also uh, today uh, we were asked by Pope Francis to uh, join all the nations uh, to pray together the Our Father prayer. Uh, we will do that at our adoration that will be uh, today at 1210. The adoration will be outside, so you can just park your cars in a parking lot and a door from your cars. And uh, I also encourage you and, and uh, invite you to, uh, uh, to do this if you are available. Uh, and if you are not, just to pray the Our Father in, uh, in the same time around noon. Uh, Pope Francis prayed at noon of Rome time, which was the 5 in the morning uh, here in Colorado. So it's a little early for us. But uh, we can still do this uh, by praying at noon of our time. So we will uh, make uh, the prayer of our Father part of our Adoration of the Blessed Sacrament at 12.10 uh, today at St. Peter's. So I invite you to uh, participate, even if you're not able to come physically and be there in your cars, then to pray with us spiritually and join with us spiritually. And for uh, this day, let us now receive God's blessing. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of a devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Remember, most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto thee, O virgin, O virgins, our mother. To thee do we come, before thee we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy, hear and answer us. Amen. 